all before, of them. Before you talk about other religions, yeah. let me ask you the question. Why do you not believe in God? Okay, to answer this question, I need to ask another question. No, no, no. You, no, no, no. you answer a question. I, I'll answer it. Like the way I answered, without can, a question. Can anything be created without the God? Can something come from nothing? Yeah, that's the same thing. Or can anything be created without the yeah, creator? I'm asking you, can something come from nothing? Yeah. Is it Show me something that came no, from no, nothing. No, okay. You tell me, is it yes or no? I'm saying no. No. So you can, something so, something cannot come from nothing. So who created God? Where the God came from? Who was the creator of the God? You know, I'm the one asking you a question, by the way. Yeah. So wait, wait. So you need to accept either one. Can I either can, can I be frank with you? When you asked me about the about the different scriptures, I answered the question, did I not? I did not ask you another question, another question. But you somehow are are, are reluctant to answer my question. Where? Okay, let me let me let me rephrase my question. Do you believe that the I'm, I'm wait, wait, you the see he's already asking another question? I'm asking the same question. No, but I was the one asking you the question, but you haven't answered yet. No, that's the, that's the answer. No, that's not the answer. You, you, to, you asked me the you counter need question. To either pick yes or no. no can can't. anything be created from nothing? No. no. I've answered now. Yeah. Now you. Said no. Now you answer. You said no. Yes. Then no, no. Now it's my turn. Then who is the, <laughs> who is the creator of God? By the way, God the is not nothing. Huh? God is not nothing. Yep. There, there has to be a beginning. Do you know what God means? If something doesn't exist. No problem. How can he even think of creating himself? Do you know? Now you answer my question. Can the universe come from nothing? If you believe physics... Uh, no, not me. You, you. Law, yeah, not okay. me. You. Okay, I'm telling you. Yeah, you. If I believe law of physics, there is possibility. Really? It can happen. Which law of physics says if, if God, the universe came if from nothing? God, if God can create himself... No, but you don't believe in God. I'm asking you no, the no, question. No, no. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. In, I'm putting in a word. If God can come from nothing... I never said God came from nothing. God, by definition, is eternal. So what was the beginning of the God? Do you know what eternal means? What was the beginning of the God? That's what I'm asking you. Do you know what eternal means? Eternal means, means something, but everything has a beginning and the end. Not eternal. The term eternal means no, no beginning, no end. You don't know the meaning okay. of the word show eternal. Me, show me one thing that is eternal other than God. Other than God? Nothing. Yes. God is the only one who is eternal. That's why he has no beginning. So, so your question is fraud. There is no evidence that this is right, other one is wrong. That means it's just blind believing. You know, you know what? I've answered your question about God. He had yeah, no beginning. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Let's be fair. I've answered your question, no but you still haven't answered my question. No Where did the universe come from? There's no logic. Okay. Law of physics. Yes. If we believe this, they are a beginning. There, there can be. It, it can come from nothing. Really, which law of physics if, says that? If you believe in the Big Bang or gra law of gravity, Big Bang everything. had a beginning. Okay. So law of gravity, Big Bang. If All of them had a beginning. Okay. Yes. So where did the universe That's come from? Universe. If I say universe, if I say something can come from nothing. That's illogical. No scientist will agree okay. with that. So what about the God then? God is eternal. I've already told you. Why you keep going to God? Nothing can be eternal, right? No, God God is Ex eternal by yeah. definition of the word yeah. God. This is the problem with this argument. You no, but you don't believe in God. I'm asking you about the universe. You're going back to God. Yeah, you are just holding one thing and what is it? eternal. What, what, is, what is your... Evidence? Listen, what, what's your name? My name is Anu. Anu? Yes. Okay, I'm Hashim. Listen. You asked me definition of God. Did I not give you the definition no, of God? Okay. I'll give it to you again. This time I want you to listen. Okay? God by definition is eternal, uncreated, uncaused. Yes? He's, he's all knowledgeable, all powerful. He's someone who is uh, sovereign and he's independent of anyone. There's in, the definition in, in every religion. Same thing. Yes. But you... So why is wait, wait. Now that I've given you the definition of God, do not ask me who created him. Because by definition, he's uncreated. So something can be created without nothing. Yeah? Oh my That's God, this guy doesn't listen, That's does he? No, I, I listen. Okay, you know yeah. what? Let's, what I believe. I'll tell you what, in, for a minute. In reality, what I believe I know, is I know. everything has a beginning no, and no, end. No, no, no. For you, that is the case. Because yeah. you don't believe in God. Yeah, that's, that's okay? Because you do not believe in God, let's not bring God into the equation. When I ask you this question, did the universe come from nothing or not? Or did it come from something? There's a possibility, yes. Okay, from nothing? Yeah. Which scientist says that? <laughs> all, all the, sorry, if, I'm sorry. No, no, if, if you believe in those Big Bang theory... Big Bang has a beginning. They yeah. say they say the universe is 13.7 billion years old. Yeah. What does that mean? That it began at a point in time. Yes. So every 
all reality that you see, the universe, yes, has a beginning. Anything that has a beginning, yes, it has a cause. So what caused the universe? It cannot be nothing because nothing doesn't even exist. How can something that is non-existent bring something that is existing? Do you get it? That's logical. I'm I'm not using I'm not using um, religion now. I'm using. I'm using this logic, part, so I hope yeah, you understand this, this question. This part is half logical. Half logical? No, no. If, if I even accept it, it's logical, okay? This part is logical. No, no. Which part is logical? As you're saying, there has to be a cause of the creation, uh, something yeah. that comes from someone's yeah. plan. So everything has a cause? Yeah. Yes? Sorry, everything that exists, that, sorry, that began to exist, has a cause. We know that the universe began to exist at some point in time. Do you believe that? The universe had a beginning. Anything that has a beginning, yeah. yes, yeah, that, has a cause. Has a cause. Everything, everything has a beginning and the end. But when it comes to God, you're saying you're going was, back to was, God. He was already there. You're, I think you're obsessed with God. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> that, that, that's my problem. Yes, that's some, I, Why is your problem know. being obsessed with God when you don't believe in God? Yeah. I'm using logic. That's why I didn't get any evidence or logical argument. I know. That's I'm not asking you for evidence of God. I'm asking you for evidence of the universe. The universe. No, no, switching from here and I have to because you believe in the universe you don't believe in God so I have to use what you believe in I want to know even the thing that you believe in makes sense to you so do you believe that the universe exists it does yes did the universe begin to exist at some point in time okay, so who created this universe that's my question to you who created this that's my question to you are you going to answer that what is the cause of the universe I asked you in a different way but basically the question is the same so okay. What caused the universe? Okay, if you come, there's a planner, okay, creator. Alhamdulillah. No, no, no. That's your argument. I'm not not me, you. I want your argument, not my argument. I already know my argument. Okay. So What's your argument so for the beginning of the universe? Is, what created the universe? There is a creator, yeah? Uh, no, no, you, you. No, no, no. The Do you believe that? There is a creator. I know, no, 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 no. No, I, I'm sorry to say this. You are not using an argument of someone who believes in God. You, as a non-believer in God, what is your argument? When I ask you this question, what created okay. the universe? Okay, I can say the reason I don't believe there is no logical argument of God existence. See, he goes back to God. This yeah. guy is obsessed, you know. Yeah. That's the problem with certain atheists. They are so obsessed about God that they cannot let it go because for them, there is no other way out of this. Yeah, the only way for you, for you to talk logically about the universe. The center point. No, I must. But is it the center point for you? Is God the center point for you? To dismiss it is my center point of argument to dismiss it. Nobody. How can you dismiss something that you don't believe in? There's something that. So why do you keep bringing God in when you don't even believe in it? My question to you is, what caused the universe? Everything that begins to exist has a cause. So what caused the universe? Something or nothing? Let's let's narrow it down to that. Was it something or was it nothing? What caused the universe? You know, you heard of the singularity? You heard of the Big Bang? Yeah, the, yes, the, you know, the, before the, the Big Bang, there was a singularity? That's, that's, that could be a possibility scientifically, okay? That what, what is the possibility? Even if, okay, I Sorry, have, what is the possibility? I have not witnessed it in my eyes. No one did. So that could even be a possibility. What is the possibility? Possibility. Possi which something, possibility are you talking about? Something realistically may happen is the possibility. No, no, no. The question is, what caused this existence of the universe to come into being? Did the universe exist before all the time or did it come to exist no, in certain points? If I believe in Big Bang Theory, then there is a beginning, yes. You, do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Yeah. Good. I, I, I do almost, yes. Okay, what I do you mean almost? Have, although I have some, some questions there, yeah. but let's say I believe it. Okay, okay let's say you believe 99% of it. Yeah, okay. Yes? That means that the universe began to exist at some point. Before it was not, before there was not, there was not no existence before the universe, yeah. but it began to exist at some time. Yeah. So now my question is, my question is at this point, when it began to exist, what caused it? Was it something or did it come from nothing? Yeah, it, it could be the law of the nature or physics. The, the laws came later. The laws of nature came later. Yeah, like, so look, those, those gravity pulling together. The gravity came, came later. Yeah, came into singularity and then it, there was an explosion. So, lot of, lot, so gravity just came from nothing. So, so without, without the gravity, how can you have the singularity? No, no. When you say... No, 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 as you say... Okay, how gravity, do you define gravity? Gravity came later, as you say. So yeah. without gravity, the law, be singularity. I'm saying the laws of nature came later. First, you need to answer me what caused the singularity. 
So what's the point? Just maybe I've been asking all this time. He's asking no, no, no. what's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Don't my point is, my point is, if something is existing, now, you're saying this. Well, you're asking me what's the point. I'm telling you, and you cut me off already. You're saying the cause. So Say again? cause means you mean a planner, isn't it? No, plan, no. Cause plan. cause means something that that triggers the effect. Okay, so something depending? something causes. For example, everything that begins to exist has a cause. Say, for example... Okay, was, it, was it happening naturally or okay. someone planned it? I'll tell you what. You know when you boil uh, water in the kettle? Yes. Yes? So, what boils the, the water? Uh, the, the electric or the heat? Yes? So, the, the, the heat or the electric is the cause of the boiling water. So, we cannot say, oh, I believe in boiling water. Just like that. I cannot say that if you put a pot of water Yes, but without any heat on it, the, the, without any electric applied the, 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 to it, it boils. Yeah. So the the boiling temperature of the water is 100 degrees. Yeah, this, this this is the effect of the cause, which is the heat or the electric. But this now, topic now, is going nowhere. No, no. This this topic and, is going very well and, 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 and until you bring God in every time because yeah. you cannot understand and, otherwise. As you say, <laughs> every law of nature <laughs> came later on. God is eternal. I mean, from See, he goes back to God. No, 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 he can't. No, no, As an atheist, he can't from get here, away from. From here, it means this argument is totally vague and illogical. Because for you or for me? Well, you, you say, you say this argument don't is Which you know, I, I'm saying, I'm saying because you don't believe in God. Let's not bring God into the equation. Yes, for you as a disbeliever in God. Can you logically prove to me from any scientific evidence mm. or from any scientist, yeah. well, at least a credible scientist, whoever says that non-existence can bring into something that is existing? Like nothing can cause something. Okay. Is that logical at all for you? Even if I say I don't believe in Big Bang, even if I say this. Then, then what is then your... That what makes you religion the right one? There are 4,200 religions in the world. Maybe yeah. more. Yeah, maybe more. Maybe more. Yeah. yeah. So what makes you want the right? Now you are shifting goalposts. No, Before no. you come to religion, you need to understand all the religions at least believe in God. Yes. Some concept of God. Yeah. Those yes. Too, yeah. But you do not believe in God. So why are you worried about the religions when you don't even know how the universe came to no, exist? No, I, I'm, I'm okay. My concern is so many people are believing this from gullibility and without any evidence they are being taught this like a parrot from the childhood that's what they're believing they don't ask questions they're scared of their i mean after life or losing their family or all this they don't ask the question so that's my problem don't be a parrot or gullible just know the reality and try to ask questions and find the answers for yourself that's have you found the answer to the creation of the universe can i say you're gullible no, can no, I say no, you're no, illogical? No, no. Can I say you heard other people no, and you're parroting no, no, no. now? That's why I can say the same thing about no, no. you, my friend. That's why I'm, no one is forcing me to believe this. No if one's I forcing can... me to believe in Allah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what, what's the punishment if you don't believe it? No. You know, you keep shifting the goalpost. No, no, no. You keep shifting the you're goalpost. Shifting now. Okay, yes. what is the punishment even if you if break I, the red light even if I while you're driving? Even Big Bang, no one coming to arrest me or doing anything, okay? No one's coming but, to arrest me if I don't believe but, in the but, Big Bang but, either. But for, yeah, that's true. But for religion, yeah. if you don't believe in Islam, you're God. What, what's the punishment after that? After you if, die? Yeah, you know it all. Okay, first let me answer that. No problem. Imagine this, yes? When you die, what happens to you? According to your belief. Yeah, you have to. It happens exactly what it was before, before my birth. Before your birth? Yeah, before my birth. Like oh, your birth, okay. Sorry, yeah, what I was <laughs> Sorry I misunderstood birth. something. Okay, when you were before your birth, yeah. yes, what were you? You were nothing, is that what you're saying? Yeah. So after true. you die, you become nothing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me ask you something. Let's say that happened and you are right. When, we, when you die and when I die, we become dust and nothing. Yes, imagine that is true. Yeah. Yes? There's no consequences for you and no consequences for me. Am I right? If that is true. Now let me flip that. If after you die and there is a life after death and God is going to punish you based on or reward you based on what you did in this life. Yes. Who is taking the bigger risk? You or me? All right. Okay. Did you understand? I understand. Good. Answer the question without a question. Okay. Because you always ask a question. 
with a question all the time. To, Can you answer to, once to, to, without a question? To make it valid, I yeah. need to ask the question. See sometimes. what I mean? No, I no, knew no, this no. guy was going to do this. As you, as you ask me, so according to which religion God is going to judge me? Before you go to which religion, you do not believe in any religion. Okay. So for you, for, for you, example, you if I, if I it's, it's imagination. For yeah, for you it doesn't. For you, you're taking the risk regardless of which religion it is. Okay. You see what I mean? Look, you if, have the, if the God is really intelligent, if the God is honest and intelligent, He would not give you the reward for being gullible. He should not. Are you gullible? I'm, I'm asking. Are you gullible? I'm, I'm not. So God will say, okay, He was asking question. He didn't believe. Are you the, gullible or not? No, I, I'm not. So you want you want question you on that then? Yes. Yeah, so God, God so I, you answered your own question. So now tell me if I flip the no, 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 the you, situation you keep flipping and God is real yeah. and the punishment is real and yeah. the reward is real. Okay. What have you prepared for it? According to who is belief? Hinduism, Islam, Christianity. You lose out on all the beliefs. Doesn't matter which belief it is. Okay. You lose out on all grounds. But if if I is, is, is worship this if statue, you're seeking, if, you're if I worship this statue, forget about if. Yeah. I don't ask you hypothetical no, no, no. questions. I'm asking you. You lose out on all grounds. But, Do you not realize but, this? But all religions are not running on the same principle. I didn't say they were. Yeah. All religions have different. But all religion have one principle. They believe in God. Do you agree? Do you agree? They do, yes. So for you, it doesn't matter which religion you lose out on all grounds. Sent by Allah. He loves you. Sent by Allah. How do you know that? You were saying. You were saying which religion is true. But that is the next question. Before that, you need to at least believe in one of them. You know. After my, for example, after my death, you and I standing here. Okay. Yeah. You are a believer. I I don't believe. Yes. And God is just. Punishing you, God is punishing me yes. for not believing. Yes. So according to his book, for example, I was not Muslim. I was worshiping these statues. That's the sin still. I believed in God. But you don't believe in worshiping no, no. statues, do you? Why are you bringing that no, point no, no. in? If I did, no, but it's, I used to it's, be a sinner. It's, it's, no, wait a minute. What you're doing now? Ho ho hold on, hold on. Do you want to know which religion is true, or do you want to know if God exists first? Which one you want first? I need to fucking live, man. Do you believe that God even exists before you pick a religion? Uh, yeah, I wonder why the fly is coming only to you. It's all man-made. What is man-made? Religion? All man-made, yeah. Okay, how, 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 all man -made, what do you mean by man-made? It's just the theory of controlling people. Like. So you think becoming a religious person is controlling people? No. I'll tell you what, Islam says, okay. listen, 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 this is controlling. Islam is prohibited gambling, alcohol, prostitution, uh, adultery, fornication. Do you, do you practice any of this? Sometimes, yeah. Which one? Some of them, but the, the thing and any of wait, any of these are good for you? Okay. Are any of these good for you? I, I sometimes drink alcohol. Is that good for you? It's not even. It's neither bad, neither good. No, no. The scientists say it's bad. Do, if you do in moderation. No, no. The scientists say even small quantities is bad for your liver. Okay. So don't teach me because I've already looked into this. The, the thing so is, you see all these vices, all these things, many which are living the longest life, life span more than hundred years. They even for the last fifty years they've been drinking alcohol every day. And 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 many people die from it. Yeah. So what is the point? The, the, why do you only look at the people who live yeah. for a hundred years after yeah. drinking? Why don't you look at those youngsters yeah, who in, give up their life in, at a very early age? In moderation, everything is okay. So moderation, poison is okay? Well, poison is, is, is supposed to be... Well, it harms your body. But in, in, in reality, you can't live, you have a balanced life. Can you live without alcohol? I can, yes. So why do you want to take a poison that is known? So can, can I, I can live without religion as well. You can really, but you'll face the consequences. Are you prepared for that? I, I don't believe in the consequences. Yeah, don't you don't believe in it, but when you actually, when you die and you open your eyes, the the uh, the eyes in the akhirah, in the afterworld, yes? Yeah. What if it is true? I'm asking you, just what if? Who's taking the bigger risk, you or me? The one who believes in God, who has prepared for the afterlife, I for think, the consequences. I think, I think it, you are taking probably the bigger risk. No, because if, you, no, no, if no. I die and there is no God <laughs> and no afterlife, I take no risk. I, 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 I'll be no, dust. No, I still say you are taking bigger risk. How? If the God is so intelligent and the, I, 
told you already, he will ask you, hey, why did you believe something without evidence? I have evidence. I, I, gave, I gave you the mind, you I brain to think yeah. about. And that's the reason I'm saying the universe cannot come from nothing. I use, I use my, my intellect that Allah has given me and I came to the conclusion that this beautiful universe that you see out there, yes, these plants, this uh, sky, these clouds, yes, I think all of this, they have, a, they have a purpose. So do you. From the smallest fly to a human being, we all have purpose. Yes? What is the purpose of life for you? Let's see if you know that. What is the purpose of your life? And how are you different to an animal? I was, everyone is born by chance. All right? By chance? Yeah. Uh, I think your parents had something to do with it. It wasn't chance. Look, so if you go to the spam, how many, how many millions? Spam. It only takes one, my friend. Yeah, it takes only one, but how many millions are there? It doesn't matter, it still takes only one to, yeah. to so, have a, so a it, child. It, it could be another one. I'm asking, what's the purpose of your life? Live, live well and live like a human. You are born as a human, use your brain and contribute to the society and be happy and live, live happy. So, you, so your purpose in life is just to be happy? How do you define happy? What is it? Not just to be happy. Yeah. You live happy and you are human, use your brain and contribute to the society with your knowledge and understanding and any way you can help. Yeah, Islam, Islam preaches that. Islam tells but, you to stay away from all these evil things and to do good for the society. So, what is your contention with Islam? I just want to know that. The thing is, it, in, I mean, humanism or yeah. atheism, it doesn't tell you to believe something blindly. Actually, the atheists who, are, uh, who believe in nihilism, who yeah. believe that we have no purpose, no reason to live, yes? So you are just a bunch of molecules and atoms, and that is all you are. Your morality is completely... But in reality, this is true, but... You know what you just said about morality? But, that actually comes yeah. from religious people, okay. not from atheists. I'm not okay. saying atheists are immoral, go, but they don't have objective morality. I can, I can morality. two days on this topic. That, two days? That, Two more days on the on, only on topic that this religion was abusing the morality and all those immorality. Where does your morality come from? What what do you consider as good is good? Where does it come it is, from? It comes from my conscience. I mean, from conscience. Yeah. Whose conscience? The conscience, like you. What is conscience? Like you mean consensus? Yeah. Yeah. Con conscience. Con conscience. Yeah. So your conscience. Yeah. Okay. If I if something happens bad to me, but that's subjective, isn't it? What is good for you might be bad for your brother. You see what I mean? So it's subjective. So yeah, but, how do you decide but, which moral? For example, do you believe it is right to abort children? Who you don't need adult. abortion. Do you believe in abortion? Do you think a mother has the right to abort a baby? If, if there's a physical condition, that Th let's say there's, there's no physical, there's no yeah, yeah. medical condition mm -hmm. to abort a child. Do you think that is wrong or right? I mean, I don't have any hard feelings about it. As long as he's not born yet. No, no. Before he's born, he's no, killed. No, 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 even the late stage is okay. What about late stage? I mean, if you abort before some, within the past few months, then I, I don't think any, anything bad in this. Okay, so you think it's okay to kill potential children? Yeah. And, and that is your morality? Wow. You see what I mean earlier? Because morals are subjective. So what he just said is okay to kill babies. You know, imagine your parents killed you before you were a yeah, few okay. months old. I wouldn't, yes? be, I wouldn't be here to feel it then. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to feel it. But, but what your parents would have done is eliminate a potential life. So how many potential life being destroyed every day? Thousands, day? thousands. And I, billions, billions, isn't yes, it? Yes, and do you think that's right? Yeah, that's right. Everything has yeah, to be balanced. So now killing children is right. Wow. Everything has to be balanced. Otherwise, you know. By the way, when that mother, when the mother realized that she's pregnant, and I bet your mother did that as well, and maybe mine as well. Yes. When she's a, when she knows she's pregnant, yes, she would have called you my baby. Yes. Maybe you have no. What do you say? You have no significance. Wait, wait, wait. You have no significance what for. If, wait a minute. I'm answering. Maybe for you that few months old baby is insignificant, but for her, 
it is something of pride. Yeah, if, if she thinks, then she, she always keep it, isn't it? If someone thinks it's significant, then they would never. You see, this is what I meant about. For that mother, it is very important for you. If, it's okay, destroy it. That's fine. If impregnated by prey for something, now, and then what's Now the we are coming back to okay. the topic that I was talking about. Okay. Morality, no, 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 where does your morality okay. come from? A answer me this question. If someone is impregnated by rape, yeah. what they should do? If the it's up to her then. It's now up it's to up her. her. Yes. Because, it's, it's still a no, no, no. There's a difference here. There's a difference. There, there's a difference. If she keeps it, it's good. But if she decides to terminate, because now you're talking about rape. You're talking about yeah. where, so, wait a minute, I'm answering you. Allow me to answer. Yes. Now you're talking about rape here. That is changing the circumstance. Yeah, okay. My my question to you was in a normal circumstance. Yes. Where the, where, where the father and mother just have sex and they conceive. The mother conceives. And she destroys it because she thinks it's, she doesn't want it. Just for the sake of it. But now you're put in ethical... Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I'm still answering. I'm still answering. Now you're put in ethical situation where the mother will see this child and she might not... Her own her own health... No, no, no. Wait a minute. Everyone has a reason to abort a child. Everyone has a reason. But most of the reasons today are not because they were raped. Do you agree? I agree. Of course. Most of the reasons are because of unwanted pregnancy. What is unwanted? Unwanted is because oh I don't have enough money or I or what will what will my I'm too young still I have my career it's all selfishness but in the case of rape it's not selfishness there is a consequence for for that particular act yes and the mother might have to face it when the child is born so it's we the, the ulamas the scholars they leave it up to her there is a difference of opinion on this as well in the Islam so it's not it's not hundred percent say oh kill them all or save them all yeah please do. I think my brother is from Bangladesh. Yes. Number two. Are you from Bangladesh? And I think you are Muslim before you are yeah. Please tell, Ma, tell, uh, tell us why you came out with Islam. No, it's the longest story. I'll, I'll tell you another day. I'm maybe. sorry. <laughs> Thank you. But I uh, have. Uh, yeah. is that, are, are your parents still Muslim? They, they are not that religious. But are they Muslim? Yes, yes. So, are you the only one who is uh, ex-Muslim from your family? Mm, I think my family, is, I mean, no, no okay. one is that, that religious. Yeah. No, but not religious doesn't mean they are not Muslim. For example, there might be Muslims who are drinking alcohol. That doesn't mean they are not Muslims. They are sinning, but still Muslims. But they don't believe in this. Yes. Do they believe in Allah and the Rasul? They still ask the question. They could be wrong, could be fake. Oh, oh, no. oh wait, I think that's you. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, that's not your parents. Why do you do this, man? Why do these guys do this? Lying against your own parents, you know, seriously. Just now he said they are not religious. Now they're saying they're doubting Allah and the Rasul. You know, yeah, I think I think you shouldn't no, no, no. you shouldn't you say, impose what you believe no, no, onto no. them. You said even if they don't believe, they still Muslim. No, I said I said even if they're sinning, they're still yeah. Muslim. Listen to what I said. Okay, okay. Uh, okay? there's a difference. But if you stop believing Allah is your Rabb, no, no. you stop believing the Prophet Muhammad yeah, yeah. is your Rasul, then that's a different case. And the I think that's the case with are, you, not your parents. They are very intelligent and they are asking questions before they believe something. Oh, just because you leave Islam doesn't mean you're intelligent, my friend. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not calling myself. I was, I was you know, Newton was a believer in God. One of the big, uh, one of the best scientists. But it doesn't justify. If, if, even well, neither does it justify. Even uh, the whole world believes in God. Yeah. It doesn't justify. But you see, true. you know what? What really doesn't? The reason you were reluctant to answer certain questions, which shows that you yourself do not believe that the universe came from comes from nothing. It's illogical. There are how many? More than two billion atheists in the world. Doesn't matter. But they don't believe that the universe came from so nothing, God, do they? God has not little power to come forward and show the evidence. Hey, don't, I'm here. <laughs> you, oh, wait, 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 wait. You think that is really clever, yeah? So, do you know what a test is? Does your teacher come with an answer when you are in a test? But they, answer, they, answer, they, the, they, answer the question. Okay, so if, if Can you answer once without a counter question? No, no, no. Does your teacher come with an answer you, you paper know, in front of your you test? You know it very well. What? What? What question will make another question? No, you always answer a question with a question. Yeah, the, I've noticed this throughout say, this conversation. Say, every time you know this, I mean. And and even that has been debunked. 
So the thing is, what do you ask of you? We don't go around the bushes. We'll ask can you answer once yeah, for you for during this conversation? Okay, what's, what's this question? My question is, when you are in a test, have you have you ever had a test yeah, in your yeah, life? Yeah, I, I had. Yeah. Good. Like exam, for example. Yeah. Let's say during your examination, yeah. did the teacher come with an answer to show you? No, but he he was teaching me before the exam. I didn't ask that. Yeah. Of course, he was teaching you. Yeah, because because he's asking specifically the test. Okay. My question is, my co the, you know why I asked this went question? To school. All the year they were teaching me in the class, and then they took the test, yeah. not without teaching me what, yes. what, what I, I should learn. But that wasn't my question. My question is: During the exam, yes. did the teacher show you the answer? No. Good. This life is a yes. test. So if Allah comes okay, and sh so wait, 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 listen, listen. He's not teaching me. If I Hold go, on. If I'm I answering. Go the wrong way, I'm answering. Then he can blame me. I'm, I'm answering. No, no. Allah has told you in the Quran. So he did not send you without guidance. Now he's going to Quran again. So what well, you ask me about Allah? So what if I believe in like Zoroastrianism? Or then, Hindu then in that book you should. In Hindu book. Then even in that book you have certain yeah. guidance. For example, every religion has do's but and don'ts. If, but if I follow that book, there will still be still be a sin. But it's still exam for that from that point of view. It still be a sin by Islam. Then read all the religion and follow the most logical. No, no, you can never follow all religion. That's that's the most illogical thing you'll do if it does that. That's for you, that's for you, yeah, I'll give you an. Point, I, agree with you. I will give you an easy way to narrow it down. Okay, you can easily discard polytheistic religions, those who believe in more than one god, because it's illogical. Shall I tell you why? So anyone who believes more than one god. It so is illogical. Yeah. Almost every religion has one god. No. Okay. Hindus. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. That's not true. They they call the god by different names and different power, but the source of power or the is come from this one god. Yeah, but they still in worship. Hinduism, they still worship the name of that god. You have in the name of Ganesh, in the name of Krishna, in the name of uh, Shiva. So they still they still focus. Their what is it? Their prayers. Different names. That's correct. But all of these, all of these powers combined, one God. In Hinduism, like you have call him Kalima, yeah. In Islam, yeah. One line. In Hinduism, the same thing. There is only one God. Now, why do they worship Shiva or they, Ganesh? They still or I'm not. I'm not. I'm not advertising Hinduism here because I don't believe it this either. What I'm saying is, let me tell you, you what they believe. You should learn. You should learn about Hinduism. I did. And all the different I, names. I, I did. Okay, different so, names doesn't mean different. No, no, gods. no. They believe that these are the different avatars of God. Avatars. Yeah. That's yes. Right. Yeah. So when you have an avatar, it means like an incarnation of God into a man. Same thing with the Christians. They believe that Jesus was an incarnation, yeah. a human incarnation of God. Yeah. Then they start worshiping Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. So the Christians believe that there is one God. But then yeah. they believe in Jesus as God, the Father as God, and the Holy Spirit as God. And they believe each of them is 100% okay, God. Not my concern, but, uh, no, but I'm telling you what avatar means. Yeah. Now you know avatar, but now I know. Just, just a minute ago, you are saying they are all different gods. They are. Because they how, believe each one of them. Like no. When you become an incarnation, you are that God. What do you say? Some part of that yeah. God came to you. So, so you can come as an elephant it, God, a monkey yeah, God, exactly. whatever it is. He was taking different forms at different times. Yes. With known different names. Yeah? Yeah. What does shirk mean? You know what shirk means? So what it mean? I understand. I know. What is shirk? Shirk means, I mean, comparing God with something else. Yeah, you, you basically are making someone he, 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 other he, 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 than he, 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 the true God as an object of worship. Yeah. Do wait, wait, do the Hindus in this same argument? Don't ask a question. He does that again. Eh? Why does he do that? He doesn't realize. You know, what? a sincere person will say no because logically, scientifically, even theologically, even philosophically, it doesn't make sense that something which never existed comes into existence. Yes. Be be sincere with yourself. Wait, wait. Be sincere. Be sincere with yourself. If you don't know the meaning of God, ask people instead of assuming he never existed. Ask people the meaning of God first, no, I, which I've already I, told you I, several I, I, times. According to you, nothing can come without any creator. You know? Yes. So if, by, by the same no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. According to me, everything that begins to exist has a cause. This is a principle which scientists believe in as well. Yeah, exactly. Yes? That's true. There's so logically, law, something cannot law, come from nothing. Law, logically. Law of nature, law of science. That's what they believe. They don't so what's believe, that got to do with nothing? Yeah, they, they don't believe there is a planner. They don't believe this. That's up to them. Yeah. That, but, but they will. But, but he just claimed. But they, they still believe. They still believe that something cannot come from nothing. 
Do you at least agree with the scientists? It is okay. It's something changed form over yeah. time. So Sorry, something changes what? Form. From one, yeah, from one form to another. Yeah, but a form is something. It's yeah. not nothing. I'm asking, can something come from nothing? Nothing. Do you know what nothing means? Let's define that. What is nothing to you? Something non-existent, isn't it? Yes. So does not nothing exist? <laughs> you have to think about it. <laughs> you have to think about it. <laughs> you just said it. You just said it. Say it again. Repeat it yourself. That's it. Nothing doesn't even exist. Nothing is a concept. In order for us to understand in a language, in mathematics and so on, we use nothing. In math, they might use the number zero. Yes? It implies nothing. The reason I'm saying that nothing doesn't even exist, how can it bring something into existence? It is illogical, incoherent, incomprehensible, and it is something which, if you believe in that, then you are more than gullible, I would say. <laughs> this part you are being a bit logical, but if you... I've been saying but, this for all along, but, but you have to apply, the whole discussion. You have to apply the rules, to everything, same yes. rules to everything. Yes, you should. If something begins to exist, yeah. then it has a cause. And it has an origin from something, not from nothing. Okay, so, so ask the same question, the creation of God. God didn't begin to exist, so it doesn't apply to God. I've told you this several times, but you're not listening. That's where you are just making it invalid, okay? Which part of that you didn't apply, understand? Apply the same rules on everything. Okay, did God begin to exist? For me, By definition, if you're talking about God, you should at least know what God is. If but God did not even begin to exist, then how can you say but it should apply to God? But, but for my logical mind, what I believe, everything has a beginning, okay? Everything meaning what? Everything, everything material every, or immaterial? Everything that exists has had a beginning. Okay, everything material or immaterial? What has a beginning? I'm not talking about anything immaterial. There is nothing. Do you believe immaterial. that? Do you believe what, in Im okay. there's nothing that's immaterial? What is really? It, what is immaterial? Tell me one thing. Your consciousness. Do you believe you have consciousness? Oops, the penny dropped. I like that. He's thinking. That's a good sign. Do you believe in your consciousness? Can you give me? Empirical evidence for it? Observable, verifiable, yes? Provable that you have consciousness? How do you know you're not, in a, you're not a brain sitting in a jar somewhere? And this is all just a, a matrix? Uh, this consciousness also would be the part of my way of thinking or something else. Yeah, it, all, it, it includes everything, your emotions, your consciousness, your cognition. All this is linked to your consciousness. In fact, your ability to ask all these questions and counter questions, it comes from your consciousness. But can you prove your consciousness? Because it's immaterial. How can you prove it? You can't, my friend. As an atheist, you have to believe it by faith. You have to believe it because everybody else tells you that you have consciousness. No, no, no. That's, that's, well, prove it to me in science, scientifically. Because science is all about observation, about verification. Yeah, that's yes? True. Yeah. Can you verify and observe your consciousness? But it is, but it is unscientific and ill... How oh, unscientific? Your consciousness? It, no, no, it's unscientific and illogical to okay. believe something without the evidence or... But you believe in your consciousness, right? Yeah, consciousness is... Science consciousness is the product of my understanding and observation. Do you have evidence for it? That you have consciousness? <laughs> what happened? You know, you're going into a different topic anyway. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually using the same, the same questioning that you question God with. You see, God is not something that is material or physical. Yes? That you will find Allah will come here in front of you and then you'll believe it. Yes? Because this is a test, yeah. as I said. I'm asking you, your own self, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Your own self, you don't understand. Your own consciousness, you don't understand. And you want to know the other immaterial, which is God. First, Believe that you yourself have consciousness. In fact, you believe it already, but without evidence, without science verifying it, without any proof for it, you already believe it. Think about that. You see, so there are things in this life, my friend, Anu, there are things in this life which you believe in, without evidence, without proof, without verification, just because everybody else tells you so. Yes? But then you, when you ask the same questions about Allah, but, ask the same questions about yourself first. But for other things, questioning is like, they encourage 
then can I start asking you a question? Just like I encourage you to yeah, think, yeah. yes, about your but, consciousness. But in, in religion, so why do you believe your consciousness? Wait, wait. I, I, want to, I want to ask you this question. Why do you believe in your consciousness without evidence? Why? Why do you believe in the immaterial without any scientific evidence or proof? Look, as you are telling me, the consciousness is Im Im immaterial matter. Do you agree with that? I need to find out what it is exactly first. You don't know what's consciousness? If you are picking just one point, because I'm that is the main point. No, no, no. I'm, you are making main point because for you that is the main point, because you don't believe in the immaterial. Okay, define to me what consciousness is. If you don't know, I'll tell you. No problem. Many no, people you, don't know. No, you tell me consciousness is basically just your awareness of your surroundings and your existence. In a nutshell, that's what it is. Consciousness. Okay. So okay. Are you aware that you are you aware that there are people around you and that you exist? Yeah, that, that, that comes from reality as well. You know, yeah, your, rea your, reality. your consciousness determines the reality. So for example, if there was, uh, let's say, a, a computer-generated uh, scenario in front of you, your consciousness will tell you, yes, depends how good or how bad that, uh, uh, what is a computer-generated scenario is, that whether that is real or unreal. But if you decide that is real, the, you came to that conclusion based on your consciousness. Yes, your awareness, your ability to determine things around you. Yeah, and, and, okay? and this ability comes from, from the your amount, consciousness. The amount of knowledge and information you yes. have. Yes, and for that you need consciousness. Your consciousness drives your emotions, yeah, but, but it drives your cognition, it drives your ability to think, yeah. your ability to question, your ability to for your intellect. Yeah. All this, the central uh, what do you say? Processing unit yeah, for that yeah. is your brain, which yeah. which actually but, but it can be is your consciousness, it, yeah, where it where it is in your body, basically. It can be developed by your own experience and yeah. in information. Yeah. You know. So what? what so are, uh, that is still that what, still what, proves what I look that. Around here, or looking at the faces, I what I see. Yeah. Someone else will see some something different. They can pick up more information. In, in but that is a, but that is all only being subjective about it. Yeah. But you still have to believe in consciousness. You see what I mean? Without proof, without evidence, without any other what do you say scientific uh, method of empirical evidence, you still believe in it. But, but, but consciousness, I don't think is immaterial because. Okay, where is your consciousness? It, 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 it is not because. It, Can you have you seen it under a microscope? It your is consciousness. That a reflection of reality. No, no. Have you seen any evidence that you have consciousness under a microscope? Has anyone but, seen but, it? But how do you how do you judge something what is existent? Like you you feel it, you hear it, or you can touch it yeah. through your senses. Yes. So this and that is dependent on your consciousness. Yes. You need to be so conscious. So your cons consciousness is also part of that feeling as well. No, no. What you feel. Now you're what you're doing is you're mixing your six senses with your consciousness. So imagine this: somebody is unconscious. Yes. Those. Can they depend on any of those six senses? No, no, no. The thing is, you think consciousness is immaterial. Yes, and so is your emotions. But something is. For, exa something for example, is connected. Something do do you have, do you have a pet? You have a pet like yeah, a cat or a dog? Yeah, I do. Yeah. What a cat? Yes, yeah, it's cat. Yeah. Okay. How do I know that you love your cat more than your mom? Can you determine this in a lab? You say I love my cat, and then you say I love my mom. Look. Can you tell anyone out there that you love your cat more than your mom or your mom more than your cat? No, can you prove this to them? You can't prove it, but... You know why? But it'll reflect. It will reflect. No, no, wait, wait. Your, your reflection can be a, what do you say, a made up thing. So yeah, you can, you can say with yeah. your mom, mom, I love you. But in your heart, I'm not saying yeah. you, by the way. In your heart, you're, you don't really love her. Yeah. And you, you love your cat more. Yeah. You see what I mean? So, so you can lie and you can make up the scenario and, and such that's that you're why. loving them. That's that's could be subjective. As, as you're going through the same argument. So if I tell my mom what I actually mean, you can't see you can't read my mind. But that is my point. Yeah. You cannot prove your emotions scientifically. Does that mean they don't exist? Does that mean you don't have love in your heart? Are you with me? Love is immaterial. That's the reason you cannot prove it in a lab. Your emotions, yes, your hatred. 
your love, your yeah, let's say your generosity, your kindness. All these things are your emotions which you cannot prove in a lab. Nice. So earlier you saying, what, give me an example of what, something that is immaterial. What, what I gave you many. Through, but what goes through your mind? Actually, reflex by your attitude or your reaction. Yeah, but you can still pretend. You, you can pretend as well, but so it's not reality then. But generally, it, it comes through. No, reflection. no, there are many pretenders out there. In fact, all the actors yeah. do that. Yeah. Yes. You see, in a movie, you might see that this actor is so good that the way he portrays his yeah, emotions yeah. is amazing. But, but, but in his real life, he might be completely different. Yeah. So in a movie, he might be playing the role of someone who. Who, who cracks jokes all the time, is really lively, he might be a joker, yes? But in his real life, he might be miserable. Yeah, but they, they, okay, but they feel it. For the set of the camera, they feel it, so they are... Made up, made up emotions. Made up, yeah. Which means it's not real. But they try to feel it, that's why... No. That do, you, do you not understand the point I'm making? I'm telling you that there are it's immaterial... Made, I understand it's made up at the No, no, do time. you believe now there are things which are immaterial and material? Yeah. Do you think there are? If you put yourself in that position, then similar expression will come out. I know. Do you not understand what I'm telling you? Do you at least believe now that there are things which are material and, and immaterial? Do you believe that or not now? Okay, if you... Not if. if you I'm asking you. Emotion and those... Yes. Are they material or immaterial? Then this is not material at the same time. It is connected to a physical thing. Which is what? Connected to what? Like... Consciousness, you, which is not physical yeah, either. If you are dead, your consciousness, your consciousness goes, isn't it? How do you know that? Your consciousness How do you know that? does not exist. How do you know? There are scientific studies which show recently that the dead can hear even without the consciousness for a few minutes after death. Recent studies. Yeah, but... But my point is not that. My it, point it is... My point is not what you cannot, Look, what you can prove. You can My point is what you cannot yeah, prove. You can, you can transplant some body parts as well within, say, even three days. Say Doesn't what? mean those body parts. I'm not talking about. Yeah, but, look, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about a person who is who is dead. I'm talking about you as a live person. Do you believe? Do you believe as a live person that you have you have certain emotions and consciousness which are immaterial, which no one out there can prove? Like the amount of love you have, the amount of hate you have, the amount of your generosity, all this is linked to your consciousness. Yeah. All of these are immaterial. And Do you and believe and that or not? And the consciousness only exists when you exist. According to your understanding. Yeah. But I, yeah. I believe that we have a soul which, yeah, the, which now... You can think anything or you can be very happy thinking of your reward of afterlife. But it doesn't, for me, it doesn't mean it's a matter of being happy, you know. It's not about happy or not. It, it, it could, could be, you know, could in, be all, all made up wrong. I know, in this conversation, I've proved to you that there are things which are immaterial and... You I, have... I didn't prove anything. Okay, well, can you prove your love? I, I, I just, Let's see if you can I do that. I just told you, I just told you. What? You, what goes into your mind comes out through your action. And secondly, what you think inside your mind, it happening because you are alive. That's got nothing to do with my question. Do you know what my question is? My question is, can you prove your emotions scientifically? Em with empirical evidence? Yes, uh, I, I can. Yeah. You can? Yes. Okay, can. prove to me your love. Go on. Prove to me that you love your cat more than yeah. your mom None or your mom more than your cat. Go on, yeah. prove it to me. When you have true, f true feelings, it will... How do I know it's true? It, it, it will be expressed through your... How do I know you're not facial acting? Facial expression, through your voice. Actors do that all the time. Through the voice, through facial yeah. expression, through their... That is, that's why it's called acting. Yeah. Do you know what acting means? Act, 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 acting act, means something which is unreal, you can make it real. Okay, acting doesn't mean always, it's just faking. I never said always. Okay, acting doesn't mean just faking. Acting means... I never said always. Putting yourself there and think like them so a real expression will come out. But how do you know it's real expression? Do you have evidence for... You know what empirical evidence means? Empirical evidence means, for example, if I keep you and this other gentleman in a room, yes? And then I ask you, how did you feel the temperature was? So he might tell me it was warm. You might tell me it is cold. You mm. both are human. Yeah. You both were in the same room. Yeah. But your subjective experience of your environment, mm. the room is different. Now I come and I say I can prove it objectively with empirical evidence what the exact room temperature is. All I need is a thermometer. Now that thermometer shows me empirical evidence what the exact temperature of that room is. So whatever you say or he say is regardless for me because now I have empirical objective evidence. Can you do the same with love? 
you can express it by your action. That's the idea. Is that objective? I just told you. Is that objective or subjective? I want objective evidence, not subjective. Just be sincere and say you can't. Because the scientists haven't invented a machine by which they can test the amount of love or hate that you have for a certain individual objectively. By what I Objectively means, okay. for example, there is a there is a there is empirical evidence for it. Subjective, it only exists when you exist. It does. It can't exist by itself. I didn't say it exists by itself. I said when you are alive, you feel emotions. Yes. How can you prove to me that you have emotions, even emotions, because you could be acting, yes, to express your emotions. You could be acting all your life. You might be really miserable, but you feel you're showing people that you're happy. I'm not saying you're like that, I'm just giving an example, yeah? What I'm saying is that because you do not have objective empirical evidence, but you still believe that you have emotions, you still believe you have consciousness. That is my whole point. Yeah, I mean, so now, if, if now we have... reality without my consciousness, I don't be alive. I exactly. Would, I, I, I'd be, I'd be disabled exactly. just lying on Exactly in, my in, point. In, in bed. But yeah. you believe in it without empirical evidence. Do you understand that? You believe it without looking at it, without seeing any evidence for it. Now this is exactly this is this is exactly why I believe that there is an immaterial world and a material world. That's the reason I believe that there are things beyond what science. You see, science is a tool, which is a good tool to observe things of the material world, the naturalistic world. But it is completely useless when it comes to immaterial world because it's beyond the scope of science. It is like me, if I want to dig a hole in the ground, yes, I would actually use an equipment which is able to do that. Now, if I use this, just this, let's say this bottle, this part to dig a hole, will I be able to do it? No. Why? Because I'm using the wrong tool. Similarly, if you keep saying science this, science that, yes, in order to prove God, you need science. Science cannot cope with immaterial world. So it is beyond the scope of science to reality, prove to you but, but in my reality, about God. In my reality, your consciousness is your reality and you no, couldn't prove that to me. In my, in my reality, there is nothing immaterial. Your consciousness, I gave you. You see, after all this conversation, he comes back to the same thing which was in his head. <laughs> I proved to you your emotions, your consciousness. I gave you examples. But at the end, after listening to all this, you're saying, I don't, I don't believe in emotions. I don't believe in... Uh, uh, in my consciousness even. That's not what I'm saying. I'm do you believe in your consciousness? Do you believe in your consciousness or not? Yes, I do. As, do you long, have, as long as I'm alive. Okay. I'm, I, I do, you, do you have evidence that you have consciousness? Material evidence? Empirical evidence? Objective evidence? You, you are just rattling around with this. I mean, it, it makes I'm no, rattling around? It, it makes no sense to me what you are talking about. I was talking about different... You know, when you can't answer the question, it doesn't make sense all of a sudden. <laughs> That is, okay, that is being you. insincere. Anyway, I think we should stop here because for, for you to accept your own self, you need sincerity. For you to accept your own consciousness, you need sincerity. You know what Allah says in the Quran uh, in, uh, about you as, as a human being? You have to look for signs in the furthest of horizons and within yourself. Yes? Within yourself is your consciousness and you are denying those. So Allah has given you science and you deny that. I didn't deny, I said it's part of my existent material. Like I, so you think consciousness is material? I, I, I can think of I, my consciousness and everything in my mind It's because I exist. No, no, is your consciousness material? If it is, why can't you show me an example? There's different argument, I need to do a research on this, right? No, but you already made up your mind. You said there is nothing immaterial. You made up your mind already. Yeah, but... Am I right? That, that's, yeah, that, that's the thing. I mean... Is that, is that, is that a, what do you say, a logical thing to do? According to science of things, there is nothing immaterial. Or even there is, you should not believe That's because you're using the wrong tool. Science is not a tool to determine immaterial things. Yeah, that, that doesn't... Science, science only observes the naturalistic world. Yeah. And it gives you based on its yeah. understanding you, you, what is. You, you but if it cannot be, even see it, how might, can it? You might be happy with the non-existent or Im, immaterial afterlife or whatever. Shall, I, shall it, I tell you something? There is not a single scientist. It, it, it doesn't exist for me. Right? Okay. There's not a single scientist who does not believe in consciousness. Not a single credible scientist who rejects consciousness. And there is not a single conscious scientist. Sorry, credible scientist who can prove with empirical evidence that consciousness agrees. So who is denying the consciousness? No one. That's what I'm telling you. So what are you telling me? What I'm telling you is they believe in consciousness I'm, based on I'm, faith. I'm not denying either. Okay. You are not? 
I, I've been telling you for last many minutes okay. that it's part of my existence. But is it material or immaterial? Then, then it will go into I can pretend on all the, all the stuff. Yeah, why not? <laughs> That's the reason I ask you for empirical evidence. You know what empirical evidence is? Like the room temperature, temperature which you cannot deny. Two people can get different, uh, what do you say, uh, feeling about what the temperature of the room is. By thermometer could be faulty. Yes. Isn't it? What if it's not faulty? Then do you believe it? Are you saying all the then all the thermometers then, in the world are faulty? Then you need to pick the average conclusion. No, there are. If, you pick, if you're going to use such logic that the thermometer is faulty, are you telling me that you can never find the temperature of the room? Objectively, or you can? Anyway, I think you have not much to say because as an atheist, you will not have answers to this unless and until you believe that these, there are things beyond the naturalistic world which you cannot understand by science. If you're going to revolve your entire life on science, then you are actually looking at the world with one eye. Just, the natural, just with the naturalistic world. There is an immaterial world in yourself and beyond yourself as well. But you cannot have evidence for empirical evidence even within your own self, like your emotions, like your consciousness. But the science does not tell you what to think. It gives you the information to enhance your way of thinking. Yeah, but, how, how but science it? cannot be used as a tool for immaterial things. Do you not agree with that? That's correct. Because Good, that's all I wanted to say. Science doesn't allow this. So why are you asking for science for God then? If you have realized that science cannot be used as a tool, science doesn't accept this immaterial thing or all this. Who thing? told you that? They accept their consciousness. They accept. You just said it. No one denies it. Consciousness does not come from nothing. It comes only from a living human or a living creature. I never said it comes from nothing. When did I say that? Why you Why you making putting words in my mouth that I never said? I'm saying any for anything that exists, that begins to exist, you need a cause. Then I told you for anything immaterial, sorry, there are things beyond the material world and I proved that with your consciousness, with your, with your emotions but and you so on. Saying, okay. You believe that without any proof. consciousness is Im immaterial. Yes, and you still believe it. But I, I think it, it could be a material thing as well because it doesn't exist without a living creature, you know? No, no, wait a minute. If you think that consciousness is material, then the onus is on you to prove to me with empirical evidence. And you can never do that. No, I, I can do a research. I, I can <laughs> okay, do by, your research. By, by religious person, I cannot say, hey, I, I just do Go, it. You're not a religious person. Go and do the research and come back to me next time and show me. Because, you know, go and look on the internet for this term. The heart problem of consciousness. Do you know why it's called a heart problem? Because everybody believes in it. Yet, those people who look for scientific evidence don't have evidence for it. Anyway, with this, I think I should leave the conversation here. Yes, no problem. Thanks for your time as well. And inshallah, I hope you, you believe in the religion that you were born in with Islam. And if you want to have more evidence about it, do not ask questions which you yourself have no evidence. For example, I asked you about the immaterial world. Yeah. No, no, you can ask questions. That's fine. But as long as you are sincere. You, you still need sincerity. When, you, when the truth has yeah, come to you, you need to accept it. I have gone through all these. No, all you haven't. The, all those books, I don't think you have come those, into the consciousness all argument those, all before. All those teachings, all those books, everything. And it's all all same thing. I mean, if How many is, books did you read on Islam? If, if one is Give true, me one book other than the Quran you read on Islam. So what, else, what other books? No, no, you said you have, you have, you have, Quran, you said you have read it all. You have Quran, Hadith, Sirat Rasulullah. Yeah. And in, in Which Sirat did you read? Of the Prophet Ibn Ishaq. Ibn, Ibn Ishaq yes. is in Arabic. That, that, I do not read Arabic. I, I speak my own language or English. Okay. So, do you accept the Prophet as a messenger of God, or you don't? Based on what? Based on like there, there have been many claimants who claim the same thing, being the messenger of God. Yeah, of course there are. We don't believe there's only one messenger. Yeah. We believe there are many messengers. Other than those, yeah. in other religions, non-recognized religions as well. Okay? I told you more than 4,000 religions. See, you believe how many people, even other ones. But all those activities and all those things written in the Quran, it doesn't make realistic. Okay, what is it in the, what is it in the Quran you think is unrealistic? Just the Quran. There are so many... Give me one example, go on. I can, 
I'll, I'll give it to you. I, I'll tell you. But I don't want to make this argument any longer because okay, I, no I, can, I can go Next for time. hours. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, but you have read the Quran, there yes? Are, there are lots of unscientific materials in the Quran, unscientific or. But we don't believe the Quran practice. because science tells us to. Our faith in the Quran is not based on science. The Quran is the Quran never claims to be a book of science. It is a book of signs. But to, un to make it, Allah says, ayat, the signs of Allah. Or believable, it has to be true, isn't it? Yeah, but how will you identify the truth if you don't even know that your consciousness is material or immaterial? But what, yeah, what material? If you don't know yourself, okay. how can you come to the conclusion it's true? If there are verses about material world and forget the immaterial chapters, yeah. if they talk about material matters, and if science proves to be wrong, I mean, those verses to be wrong and faulty and like very dark ages concept, you know, so... Do you know, do you know that science itself evolves and changes? It does, yeah. Like there was a point in time when the scientists used, scientists of those days used to believe that the earth is flat. Yeah? At that time, everybody accepted it. Then, then later on, when they, when they had more evidence, then they found out, no, the earth is not flat. Now, wait, wait, listen to me. So you see, science cannot be used as something that is rock solid because it is something that shifts as, as new information yeah. comes in. So, and wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, everything wait, is changing over time. wait, so you cannot use science as your, what do you say, as your yardstick to measure the truth because science's truth changes over time as it finds new yes, information. Science is the reality. And it's no, it's not reality. The, the science is based on observation the, the, of the current the, the, time the nature and everything oh. everything is change, changing over time so i just gave an example so of the science truth is, science, is, change. science is right at the present you know it doesn't yeah but it can be false tomorrow right yeah, if, if new evidence comes it could can yeah. be false tomorrow but so until but, that new evidence comes, you will believe that the but, falsehood is the truth but what religion says to be true it generally are false. Give me an example from they, the Quran, they, they, and then we'll they've go. Been, they've been false from the beginning. I mean. Yeah, but the same thing applies to science. Then, then you shouldn't believe in science either. You're you're using but, double but, standards but, but, now. But, but, but science is not arrogant, and science is not telling you either to believe it or I mean, it doesn't force you to do anything. No one forces anyone to do anything. But religion forces you to believe. No, no, no. Word. In the Quran, Allah says, "La ikraha fi din." There is no compulsion in religion. And Allah, there is a Surah Al-Kafirun where, where Allah clearly states Lakum deenukum wa yeah, To you so is your many, faith and mine I have To me is mine I have gone through all this There are so many contradictions One ayah said this Other one says completely different And even uh, I don't think you have studied the Quran yeah. Come back next time when you have time yeah, yeah, sure. And inshallah we can talk about the Quran yeah, yeah. And in the meantime and, and Find out about consciousness and, and there are, Whether it exists and there Whether it is material of, or immaterial There are lots of documents And even YouTube videos Claiming Lots of I mean, unscientific materials in the Quran. They, they were but the Quran never claimed to be a scientific book. Yeah. Why would you say so if, if it's if, unscientific? If there's a book of God, true God, yeah. then he should have known the truth. He, should, he shouldn't put any vague materials in no, there. No, there's a difference between false and vagueness. What are you talking about? Yeah. So anyway, thanks for your time, mate. Yeah? Right, thank so you very much.